Greetings, all. It's Max. We're back, and we're going to talk a little bit about Brian Dedlinger video. And this is a request. It's not something that I really care to talk about because I thought it was just a fine video. Um, so what is basically going on here is he received a letter from a person who had a dream about him being separated from his wife and going to go be a recluse somewhere. And then he uses a couple of Bible scriptures and things in there. And Brian thinks it's ridiculous and a joke and funny. And then he kind of goes a little bit off the rails when he gets upset after starting to read it. And I will say right off the bat, that's perfectly understandable. Okay. It's perfectly understandable to do that. And somebody's to Brian, now I'll say, to Brian, after he starts reading it, he starts thinking that somebody is actually praying actively to break up his marriage and spiritual attacks and things like this. And he starts to get ticked off. And he's mad. And there's nothing wrong with that. I do the exact same thing. So I'm gonna watch just a couple of minutes of this video um, he deleted it from his main Husky channel. And either it was because he was kind of embarrassed of it, but I think it was probably just because he said his piece. He got it out there for a couple of days and deleted it. And I've done that too. Got a pretty ridiculous letter here I'm going to be reading and answering and rebuking. Uh, just to show you the kind of demonic attacks that come against us here. Just into the hundreds now it's just crazy uh, there's a lot of people that hate me Charles Schmier from Las Vegas Nevada okay All right I'm only gonna take issue with that because he does not use the full names of people when he reads a positive letter to him he only reads the full name and address of the people who give him negative comments I guess maybe that's in the hopes that I'm gonna call the guy up and ask him what he meant by his letter? I don't know. That's the only real issue that I have with this video. This is, I mean, it's 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 ridiculous, but it's funny. It's so ridiculous. I felt compelled in the spirit to tell you something on uh, February 11th of 2018. I had a dream about you in the dream. You lost your ministry, then you lost your wife she did not die. She just left you. This is the first dream I have ever had that was so clear and so real. Wow, I'm convinced already. I believe it is Father God telling me to warn you. Repent, you dirty, wicked, filthy sinner, you. I mean, the Holy Spirit is going gonna, is gonna to want my marriage to break up. Let's see, you know? see, the guy just said he had a dream, and this is what I'm telling you. And I understand exactly where Brian is coming from. He's like, what, you're praying that my my house gets burned down and my cat dies and my wife leaves me? I understand it completely. And that's where Brian goes pretty much for the entire thing. And eh, I get ticked off too. You can't expect people to be perfect. And, you know, I don't think that he was really that out of line in what he said. Was it appropriate? Eh, you know, there's better ways that you could do it. But here's what happens. Is you get an idea in your head or something in your head and you're up at like 3 or 4 o'clock in the morning and you just can't get it out. And the only way you can do it is by getting it out on the internet or doing something, writing it down or something. Otherwise, you wouldn't sleep. That's kind of the world that people like me and Brian live in. There are some things that are like in your brain so hard that in order to get anything else done, you just have to get it out of your head. And this ticked him off so bad, he had to get it out of his head. I have a troll person on my uh, page too, who wants to put four comments on every single video that I make, calling me everything under the sun. And I made a video saying, yeah, 
what are you going to do? And you know what he said? Well, I'm going to create, if, if you ban me, I'm going to create account upon account upon account upon account to come and, and troll you. Those people are out there. But you put yourself out there with an internet ministry. Okay. What am I going to do about the troll? I'm going to let the troll run his mouth and let everybody else in the body of Christ who watches my videos look at this guy and go, what a nutcase. That's what I'm going to do about it. And the Holy Spirit inspires some of you devils out there to try and go after my son. You people make me so stinking sick. My word. Number one. You disabled your comment section on YouTube, your, your YouTube videos. Yes, to get rid of troll devils like you. Number two, soon after that, you got on YouTube and informed your YouTube subscribers you had financial issues. Yeah, I'm being honest. I'm being, I'm, I'm, what am I supposed to do? Paul did it. You know, do you, do you people even listen to what I say? I explained it. But let, listen to this. It's, it cracks me up. In my dream, you had a, Two followers, one a new Christian and one a seasoned Christian, you meet with them and ask them, what Bible do they use? They both showed you it was a KJV Bible, but you looked at something in the two Bibles, then you looked at yours and found something that you informed both of your followers that you would not teach them anymore and kick them out of your ministry. What? <laughs> Gee, that almost sounds like his Patreon account. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. This isn't anti-Brian. Um, for his video that he did here. I mean, like I said, the only reason that I'm doing it is because he removed it from his main channel and he has it on KJV Ministries and somebody asked me to do it. I watched part of the video and I'm like, well, Brian's just ticked and I don't really care. <laughs> I, mean, I, I don't care. And what Brian is just not understanding that a lot of people that are just passively watching understand is that this person is explaining a dream that they had and they're not actively attacking Brian and Brian takes it different. I would probably take it the same way that Brian does. And he's like, what you want my marriage to fail and my house to burn down and my cat to die. Well, yeah, I'd be ticked too. I see absolutely nothing wrong with the video. Okay. So that is my opinion and my video response to Brian's rebuke of a filthy dreamer you know i have a couple of things that you know, i probably wouldn't give out the guy's name and address probably i don't know why you'd do that i mean it's a little bit different when people have internet personas there's a little bit of shielding there but now people can go call this person up and i wouldn't do that and as he said in the beginning it's ridiculous and it's funny well, it doesn't sound like he thinks it's very funny. You notice in the beginning of the video, he's very calm, very somber, and then he gets worked up because, yeah, you get ticked. And I bet he's doing this because he can't sleep and he's ticked off about it and says he has to, he has to record something because that happens to me all the time. All right. So with that, we're out of here.